Hello everybody, my name is Zar, and welcome back to just another small video of how to build your base and how to find your base. Um, basically, what you need to do, uh, there are other ways of finding your base that I found out. <clears throat> And those ways are actually, I'm going to save my game right now because I don't want this to, um, I don't want this to save. So there is another way you can actually find your base. So one of the ways is you can go out into outer space, you can scan the area and hope that you find, um, hope that you can find one on the planet. Another way you can actually find one is you can build yourself a signal booster. Now, what is a signal booster? Do you remember those beacons from the first game? Well, those game, well those those games. Well, those beacons had been taken out and replaced with these beacons here. So instead of a bypass chip needed for every time you want to use them, they can be used freely. And apparently I don't have enough iron. So talking about that, let's just, um, let's just grab a bunch of iron here. Let's give me 50. Yes. Okay, so give me 52. So basically what you want to do is uh, place one of these down, you place these pretty much anywhere, and it will look like this. There's your, there's your beacon. So basically to interact with it, you don't actually need to use bypass chips, it's completely free. So when you interact with it, it will give you um, the four possible choices to choose from. So you can either choose to look for a resource deposit, which means, you know, like heridium and stuff like that. Uh, the colonial outpost, habitable base is what you will want to choose. So when you put this down, the, or when you click this, it will scan the area for a habitable base. And as you can see there, I just so happen to get one. Another thing you can actually scan for is the drop pods. So they're giving you more of a ideal sort of thing for you to scan, in other words. So yeah, they're giving you more options to, to scan for more stuff and to do different things. Which is actually pretty good. Um, other than that, uh, there are things that you need to know. Other things. Um, you can build onto your base as much as you want. The construction terminal can only be accessed if you have a builder. So, in order to get a builder, you have to go to space stations in outer space and recruit them. And they'll come here and blah blah blah. So, your building does have a limit, though, on how far you can build it. So if we select uh, this, if we add this onto there, there is a limit to how far you can actually build. So. Yeah, it is this blue line right here, as you can see. Uh, I don't know if you can see it very well, but there is a blue outline 
just on the outer edge, as you can see, it's glowing up blue right there. There it is. That barrier there is how far out you can build your base before it runs out of space. So yeah, uh, you can build your base pretty tall. I'm not sure how tall, but hell, I went up about seven or eight stacks of those things. So I'm assuming you can make them pretty tall. Um, let's see here. As for glass, I'm not really sure how to get that. I'm pretty sure that you need to, uh, do some stuff. Like, go out and just search for manufacturing companies or manufacturing facilities and get it that way. So, other than that, uh, there are a couple other things I want to talk about. This thing. <clears throat> a terminal for the composition and transmission of messages to other travelers. So, if you want, you can actually put this down someplace. Um, I don't have enough resources. Time to bust up some rocks. Okay, so that should be enough to demonstrate on what I want to show. Okay, so a communication station is... Stands ready to accept any message left for other travelers to find. Um... If you find me, you get a space cookie. <laughs> okay. Okay, I don't care about the storm. What I want to show off next is... Uh, let's see. Save point. Build a little save point for managing your progress. Let's throw that down there. Uh, you can interact with this to save, but I'm not going to do that. So, you have three objects here. Uh, you can leave this for other people. So, if they come onto the planet and they see this, then they know you're here. They said that other people can interact with it, so I'm assuming that other people can see this. So, other than that, uh, if there's any more progress that can be made, I will update it. Uh, I will update the videos of part one, part two, like all the way up to however many it takes. Uh, for the freighter one, I'll do that separately. So, yeah. Um... Your base will always be marked on your map, so there's no need to freak out if you lose track of your base or whatever. I'm pretty sure you can build bases all across the galaxy on, uh, on, a, lo a, lo <laughs> on a lot of other planets and transfer your goods between those planets. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure that this is going to be okay. Um... Base building will be good, and is a good way to get money as well. So yeah. And also, for the people who are really trolling this game, cut it out. Seriously. Just cut it out. 
I know this game hasn't been good in the beginning, but at least it has de dedicated developers. I have seen some really nasty comments about this game saying, Oh, look, we almost have a game. How about shut the fuck up? I'd like to see you do better. You get the fuck over there and make a game this goddamn big. Yeah, I bet you can't do it, so shut the fuck up. But anyways, um, this game is looking better, and the graphics are really improved as well. I really love this, and I found a, I found this planet, and it's actually something that I like. So, I hope you guys will enjoy this as, as much as me for the updates and stuff. So, yeah, this that'll be it for this episode, or this small video, uh, telling you guys, like, more ways you can find your bases and stuff. So, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and don't forget, if you like the video, be sure to slap that like button. And I'll see you guys in my next video. So, take care, and have fun finding your base, and building one as well.